Welcome to ESL Lab Miami. I'm Kathy, and today's topic is citations and bibliographies. Finally fun! So let's get started. So today we're going to see how to add citations and create a bibliography in Microsoft Word 2007. How could this possibly be fun? We never know what to put first, the author's name or the title of the book. When do we put a comma? When do we put a period? Well, Word 2007 is going to take care of all of those problems for you. So let's go straight to my essay. Here we are, and I have a quotation in my essay, and I would like to credit Brown for this, so I'm going to put my cursor in the spot where I want the citation to appear. And then I'm going to go to the References tab and click on the References tab. In the Citations and Bibliography group here, we're going to check Style and click on the drop-down menu to see the list of styles. Make sure you choose the style that your teacher has requested you to use. We're going to choose APA and then we're going to go to Insert Citation and click on this little down arrow and then click Add New Source. We have to fill in the fields. The type of source is a book. And the author's name is Brown H. Douglas. As you can see in the example, you need to type the last name, comma, and then the first name. Uh, this author's name is a little confusing. His first initial is H and his second name is Douglas and that's how he writes his name. The title of the book is called Principles of Language Learning and Teaching. It, uh, it is the third edition. I'm going to add that here. Published in 1994 in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey by Prentice Hall Regents. And I will click OK. And here it is. It's right here in my document. How easy was that? I'll just put a period. And I'm going to go down because I have some other information and I need to credit the source of this also. So I'm going to click on Insert Citation and click on Add New Source. This is from an online site. I'll click Website. And um, as what often happens when you get information online, you don't know the author's name. So I'm going to skip that and continue on here. The first set of year, month, and day uh, refers to the date that the web page was updated or modified. And the second set, as you can see, is the, is the date that I found it or took it or accessed it online. And it just happens to be the same because Wikipedia is just that good. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste the URL from the browser. And I'm finished. So I'll click OK. And it is right here where it's supposed to be in the correct format. Um, what I would like to do, since I've been rereading my essay, is change this quote to a paraphrase. Paraphrase this sentence, but I still need to give credit to Brown. So, I will go back up to Insert Citation and select Brown from the list. And here he is. Thank God I didn't have to type all of that information again. Let's go to the bibliography. The bibliography is a separate page at the end of the document. When I click on the bibliography drop-down menu, I have a choice of a bibliography or a works cited page. The difference is that a bibliography includes all of the text and readings that I used or read or referred to to write my document. Whereas the works cited page only includes the sources that I cited or quoted in my document. We're going to choose bibliography and we're going to click on insert bibliography. And here it is. How fun was that? 
What? My friend just told me that my paper should have been written in the MLA style. Well, that's no problem. I'll just go back up here to style without even highlighting anything and click on MLA. And there you can see my bibliography is now in the MLA style and so are my citations. So I'm done with my document. I've cited all my material and I've created my bibliography in a matter of minutes. Fun and easy citations. Thank you, Microsoft Word 2007. And thank you for listening.